Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite keyboard shortcuts that I use in Camtasia 9. So these keyboard shortcuts can be really helpful for you when you are editing your projects. They can save you time and they just make the flow of things a lot easier. So I'm going to share with you the ones that I use the most. So the first one I'm going to share with you is the space bar. So this, when you press it, it starts the video. It'll play it. It'll pause, stop, press play. So I use that a lot than having to go over with my mouse and click the play button all the time. So I do that just on the keyboard here with just pressing space bar. Number two is I'm editing the videos a lot, these tutorials, so I need to take out the mistakes, the dead air. I just need to take out unnecessary stuff and leave all the good stuff for you guys to watch on YouTube. So I use the split button a lot. So as you can see, I just clicked the S button and it made this into two separate pieces. So I'll do it again over here. This is one piece right here. I click the S and now it splits that little chunk of media into two and it basically just cuts it. Instead of having to go here all the time, uh, this button, the split, you can just click the S button. Another thing that I use a lot is copying and pasting. So if I want to copy some text, rather than having to go back to the same text and drag it down, because, you know, let's say that I've set this, right, at a certain font. Um, hello? And then I've set it at a certain font. Let's say this speech bubble is purple, a certain type of purple that I've chosen. And, you know, I want to be using the same one throughout. You don't want to have to keep dragging from the annotations here each time and having to set each one. It's going to be quite tedious and it'll waste time if you do that. So instead, if I know that I need to use this again, this purple uh, speech bubble, I'll go control C, which is copied it. And then let's say I want to paste it over here. I move the timeline head over and I go control V and it's pasted it here. Let's say I want it again, control V. That way I have the same settings. I have the same purple, the font, and then I would go in and just like change the text here. Now it says bye. So the copying and pasting really saves time if you need to duplicate the same kind of thing over and over again in your projects. Another thing is saving your videos. So you want to hit Control S to do that. And when you do, it's just going to save it. And you want to make sure that you're always saving your work just in case, you know, your computer crashes or something goes wrong. You always want to make sure to click Control S every so often. I've gotten to the habit where I, whenever I make changes, I'm always clicking Control S because uh, on my old computer it used to crash all the time, so I've lost a bunch of work, but now I've embedded it in my head to always do Control S to save my work. Another thing is uh, delete. So, you know, you could click on something that you want to get rid of and right click and then go to delete, or you know, the fast way is just clicking on it and then clicking the backspace or delete button on your keyboard. That will just get rid of it right away. Next is the undo and redo. So if you've made a mistake, you can undo it. So let's say I delete this, but I made a mistake. I didn't want to delete that. So I want to undo that. I'm going to click Control Z and then it's going to pop back up there. And for the redo, you want to click Control Y. So it's going to go back to me deleting it because I just undid it and then I redid it. Next is moving the media on your, like the, the viewer here. So when you click on it, you can use the right arrow, the left arrow up and down to move it, you know, precisely and accordingly. You can use this as well, like when you hold down on your mouse and move it, but this makes like for very big movements. It's not as precise, but if you need something to be like exact, you can use the right up down arrows. 
And then also to be more precise when you are editing and cutting things, you want to click on the timeline area and then press the comma and period. And if you're wanting to get the exact like millisecond of where to cut, you click the period to move forward and the comma to move backward. In the Camtasia 8, it was the arrows, but if you use the arrows and you end up moving the media, which is kind of annoying, so make sure that you're actually pressing the comma and the period so that it moves it precisely on the timeline and you can get the exact moment. So those are the keyboard shortcuts that I use when I'm editing. It saves me time, it makes things a lot more easier, it helps with the workflow when you are doing a project. So feel free to refer back to this video if you've forgotten any of them that I've mentioned. Alright guys, well if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these types of videos, head down to the description below as I have a playlist of a whole bunch more free Camtasia 9 tutorials for you guys. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead. Oh, 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 oh,